It sent a tree crashing into the street while drivers were traveling on State Road 44. The EF2 tornado also uprooting trees and ripping off roofs into land. Volusia County officials talked about the impact late this afternoon, saying the impact on property was great. But thankfully, just one person was hurt. EMS did transport one patient with minor injuries, and there was one patient that needed some sheltering, and, uh, but there were no widespread injuries, and the Red Cross was a big help in uh, finding shelter for that one individual. Right now, about 1,000 businesses and homeowners still do not have power. The Volusia County Emergency Manager says almost all power should be fully restored within the next hour and a half. But the debris will take much longer to clean up. News 6's Clay Lepard is on the ground in Volusia County and shares the story of survival for people working to put the pieces back together. <laughs> No one died near Garfield in Maryland, but lives were lost. The lives we measure in memories, the chair used for family photos, the hoop that taught the kids how to play, the garden shed that helped make a house feel like a home. That was the shed. It's now half in the retention pond, half in the yard. There's some heavy stuff in there. Preparation couldn't help Jimmy Scarpelli this time around. Not as much damage as we saw from Hurricane Matthew here, but in much shorter amount of time. Generators and chainsaws drowned out much of the sound of neighbors checking up on one another. From the ground, county leaders spent much of the day assessing the damage. While up above, utility crews tried to untangle the mess of limbs and lines. This is one of the rentals. Tanya Harps still found a way to smile today. It's still livable. Even on four hours of sleep, she walked us through the damage at one of the homes she manages. Once we were able to find it. Three out of seven have power. Cleanup will take some time. The city already declared a state of emergency. We're on the list and you have to wait on a list. Not nobody's first. The biggest emergencies come first. The roofs are first. Cars are first to get the trees off of them. And then the debris that lines your front yard. In Deland. Everybody will be okay. Clay Lepard. Everyone will be fine. Getting results. News 6.